So you want to know how to get an A star in maths and further maths in year 12 and then coming into year 13, even if you didn't get a grade 9 at GCSE. Now, it's very sad to admit this. I did not get a grade 9 in GCSE maths and I didn't even do GCSE further maths. And Alhamdulillah, we on that A star maths. And it's really simple. It's not the advice that you probably want to hear, but it's the advice you need to hear. You need to practice the hard questions. It's the questions you don't want to do, which will help you succeed the most. I know so many people in my classes that have just been like, oh, I, I do so much revision. I've looked at what revision they do, and it's usually textbook questions. Textbook questions are great. They build your fundamentals to the chapter. But you don't actually get the exam practice because that's all that really matters for STEM subjects is can you do the exam questions? No one cares if you understand it. No one cares if you can do all the textbook questions. If you can't do the exam questions, that's the first thing you need to look at. The second thing is, for all of your chapters, stop making notes. Maths notes don't make sense at A-level. There's already so many made for you. Why are you wasting time making notes? If you're going to make summary cards from memory, that's different. That's blurting. That's active recall. But if you're literally just going to write down what the teacher says, it's a complete waste of time. If you do further maths, don't let your maths fall behind. That's what happened to me in the mocks. I did so much further maths that I didn't revise for maths. Now I did better in further maths and that screws over your predicted grades. So make sure you understand that just because you do further maths, it doesn't make normal maths any easier. It just gives you new ways to do different things and gives you even harder questions. Ask your teachers to go over papers that you've done for independent study and make sure you're consistently doing timed papers in exam conditions. Every week I get a few hours of timetabled independent study and in them I just do practice papers and occasionally my homework. But mainly just practice papers because then you're actually used to sitting in silence and doing exams and then when you're at home you can do like the lighter stuff of just random questions or actually understanding and learning new content. There's so many free video sources online. Mr. Bison Maths, Madas Maths, Haberdasher's Maths. I'll put some links in the description. Which will help you build up all of those lessons where you feel like you just haven't picked it up. Because what can happen in A-level is you feel like everyone is way ahead of you. But we, we're all in the same boat. No one really knows what's going on. And then you have to learn it yourself and go home after school or before school and relearn it and then you understand it and once you've gone over it a few times you answered all the exam questions and then you understand it for good that's literally it i'm just going to keep it real i don't see a reason in fabricating it assalamu alaikum